friends, Ryan the Stranger with the Monday Word, and my Monday Word for you is the embrace. I want to talk about the embrace of the Father. In Luke 15, there's a remarkable story. We've noted it as the prodigal son, and let, let me just say this. The word prodigal does not mean what we typically think of. The word prodigal, it me, doesn't mean rebellious or lost. It means wasteful and extravagant. And so the context of this story is this, is that Jesus is speaking to the Pharisees and the scribes. He's speaking to those who are bound with religion. And he goes through a couple of scenarios. Um, uh, and then he comes to this parable. I believe in theologically looking at it, I believe that this is not an actual story, but this is a parable or a fictional story that Jesus is sharing. And the Bible says that this man had two sons, and the younger of them said to the father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falls to me, and divided them to his living. And so he goes out, and he recklessly spends everything he has. The Bible says that when he gets to this place uh, of having nothing, realizing he's going to perish with hunger, he says, I'll arise and go to my father, say to him, Father, I have sinned against you in heaven and before you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And so he went to his father. But when he was a great way off in the distance, his father saw him, had compassion and fell on his neck or embraced him and kissed him. And so he immediately received him back in. I believe there's such a powerful analogy in this parable that Jesus was speaking to the religious because religion always focuses on the, 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 the wrong that is done. And so that's why we focus on, well, the prodigal son did this and he messed up here. But we fail to look at the posture of the father. I believe the message and the centrality of the theme Jesus was pounding home is that of the Father. And so uh, the story uh, here is that Jesus is telling us about the love of God and the way that God loves his children. I believe that it's so critical here. When the prodigal son was asking his father for inheritance, there are scholars and historians that say that at that time, uh, you did not get the inheritance till your father died. So in order to ask for this, it was the same as saying to your father, I wish you were dead. This is what many historians tell us, that in the Jewish culture of that time, that's what it was like, and likely you'd be cut off from that community forever. One, one, one uh, commentary I was reading was saying that when the father ran toward the son, it was very likely he was doing that before anybody else saw him because the action the son had taken cut him off from that community. But the embrace of the father was the same. No matter how far you went, no matter what you did, you were never removed from my heart. And I believe that God was speaking to the religious of that day. And he was illustrating this point to them. Once you've been in my heart, you're not removed because of your failure or your action. I believe that God was speaking about his love and about his redemption. When the father sees the son return, he literally runs out. Running in the ancient culture of that time was taboo because it would require a man to pull up his tunic to his hips and expose his legs. This was frowned upon. It typically brought shame and embarrassment, but this was a thing. The father did not care about the culture. The father did not care about his reputation. The father did not care that the son had done something that was literally saying, I wish as though you were dead. All the father wanted was he wanted the restoration of relationship. Religion always focuses on the right and the wrong and the rules and the traditions, but relationship says, I've got to get to the father and what is the heartbeat of the father the parable was not being told by jesus to emphasize the son but religion always emphasizes rule breaking this is why so many people focus on this i love what scholar nt wright says he says we tile the story the prodigal son but it could just as easily be titled the running father father didn't run away from the failure of his son the father didn't run away from the issues his son had. The father ran right to him. Now, I believe it's a picture of how God feels about you and I. So if today you're feeling unworthy, unloved, you're feeling like, you know, I've messed up so bad, go ahead and read Luke 15. Jesus was communicating to the religious, you guys don't understand my kingdom. Because on the throne is a father who risked it all for you. And until you understand that, you're going to live in rules and regulations and not relationship. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray today for a powerful release, a revelation of our position in you. 
I pray that you heal and restore broken people. I pray that you mend hearts. I pray that you give us revelation of your capacity to love us in a way that is so unprecedented. Bless your people today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.